In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily duplicate your WordPress blog. Now you might want to do this if you want to install it on a different server or if you just want to have a duplicate copy of it. You also can do it if you want to develop on your desktop and then you want to move it back up to your server. You can go either way with it. Then we're going to do add new. And this is a free plugin. So we're going to type in duplicator. And here it is here. So let's install this. And let's activate. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and create a package. So if you see down here on the left we have duplicator. Let's go to the dashboard. Okay and you'll see there's no package created yet but we can create one. And also down here you can check your server's compatibility. So you should do that. Click on that and it'll tell you if you're compatible here. And as you see we are. So let's close this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a package. So if we just click here, and now we should perform the scan. And it's just going to go through and tell us how big everything is. So we got 1.32 gigabytes here, how many files and how many folders. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a package set. And we'll just let this finish here. Okay, so the first part is done. We've now created an install package. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to install it on another domain. So what we want to do is we want to download the installer. And as you see down here, it's in, it's downloading installer. And then we want to download the package, which is a zip file. Okay, so you need to wait for both those things to download. Okay, so just looking at the download manager here for this file. As you can see, I chose to back up my main blog here, which is 1.3 gigabytes. So I'll resume the video after this downloads. It's a fairly big one, so it's going to take a while. So we'll be right back with the restore process. Okay, so at this point we have the two files we need downloaded to our computer. Now we need to do is upload it to the new location we're going to put it on. So I'm going to put it on a different domain here. Okay, I'm going to make a new folder. This is a FTP client called FileZilla, so you can download this. And then on the left side, we navigate to the files on our computer. On the right side is our server. So we up here where it says host, type in your domain name, then your username and password for your hosting account. Okay, so I'll create a directory here. I'm just going to call it test blog. Okay, so what I want to do now is go and find my test blog folder here. Then we want to upload installer and the zip file. So we'll let those upload. Now the next thing we need to do is create a database. We're going to need a database of course. So go to your hosting control panel and create an empty database. So depending on what type of hosting you have and what kind of control panel you have, it may look different than this. But what I want to do is go down to databases and then I'm going to use the wizard here. So I'm just going to call one, make one here called test blog. Okay, now we've created a username. You can create whatever you want. I'm just going to call it the same thing. And then in your password, you can use the password generator if you want, and it'll create a nice strong password for you. So copy this, and then go down here. I have copied it somewhere. Use password, and then create user, give it all privileges, and then next step, 
Okay, so there we go. Now, I'm going to open up a notepad session to save all this information. Okay, so I'll do password. And then we'll get the other information from here. So I called the the uh, user, cut it off because it was too long. So there is our username. Okay, so we'll go user and database. Copy this and paste it in here. Okay, so we have everything we need now. We don't need this quotation here. Okay, so there's our information. Let's check how our upload is going. Okay, so we're going to wait for this to finish and then we'll finish up with the install. Okay, so at this point we're out all uploaded. Now what we need to do is go to this installer.php file. So what we do, we'll go over here, key in the domain name, folder name, slash installer.php. Okay, so here we are. Now we need to know our host name. Uh, usually it's localhost, and you can find that by going to PHP My Admin and looking at what it says in the top of host name. I happen to know that localhost is correct, and that's usually correct. Not so if you're using GoDaddy, but in most other cases it is. Now, your MySQL username, password, and database name. So we save that. So let's bring this over here. This is the database name. So copy. Database name. So we paste that in there. And the username is the same without the G on the end. And then the password down here. You might have noticed it's different if you're observant, and that's because I had a crash and had to reset it. Okay, so now what we want to do, let's test the connection. Okay, so that's successful. We know that's going to work. You should read the warnings down here. Click I have read all warnings and notices. Let's run deployment. Okay, so just make read the warning, click OK, and here we go. So this is going to go and unzip the file and put everything in place the way it was on our original blog. So it may take a little while for this to finish. Okay, so this has our old settings up here where the blog came from. And now it has the new settings down here. This should be correct. You have advanced options here. Okay, let's update the tables. This is going to replace the paths and so on inside the tables for us. Okay, here we have some final notes. So resave the permalinks, delete the install files, test the entire site, and view the install report. Okay, so here it says we have one warning, so let's have a look. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go log in to our new blog. Okay, so here we are. It's There's our login page for the new blog, so we'll log in. Okay, so here we are logged in, so let's go do what it told us here. We're going to go down to Settings and Permalinks. And then we're just going to save the changes. Okay, we're going to go and delete the installation files. So let's go back here. Let's do a refresh here. Okay, now you'll see that all our files are in here, so we need to go find the, the zip file here. So this and the installer.php file, that, okay? 
So I'll hit the delete key, and those are gone. Okay, test entire site, so we should go through, make sure that everything's displaying okay, and that's it. Okay, so at this point, this should all be working. Let's go to the main site here. And as you see, everything appears to be in order. Okay, so that is how you can duplicate your site using the free word.